by General Electric, makers of the world's most dependable appliances for the home. Mr. and Mrs. Magruder, the reason you're here is to see if we can't iron this thing out, and maybe a separation won't be necessary. Now, what seems to be the trouble? Well, I can express it to you for a few words, Your Honor. This girl thinks that she runs the house. All right, look, 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 please, please, one at a time, uh, Mr. McGruder. Yeah. Well, you see, Your Honor, we were married six months ago, and for a while, everything was was just beautiful. And then, like a bolt from the blue, she suddenly decides that being a housewife ain't enough for her. That it doesn't keep her busy enough. That she's got to have a career. Yeah, and he won't let me. Well, how would it look for a man in my position for his wife to be working? What would my colleagues have to say? How could I hold my head up in the business cycles in which I move? What do you do? I'm a bookie. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Your Honor, this information is strictly off the record. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Magruder, I'm only concerned in preserving your marriage. You know, I don't think this problem is as serious as I thought. Mrs. Magruder, would you mind if I spoke to your husband alone for a moment? Well, all right, if you want me to. Yeah, he wants, he wants. <laughs> Mr. Magruder, you know, I don't think you realize that uh, every woman feels this way in the early stages of becoming a housewife. Huh? I know I had the same problem myself with my wife, but I didn't make your mistake. What's that, Judge? I didn't fight her. I let her try having a career. Because I knew that she would soon realize that the daily routine of having a career is a lot tougher than the daily routine of being a housewife. Uh -huh. So she found out a mistake. <laughs> of her own free will. And she's never mentioned a word about work ever since. No, I remember the first day that Joan decided to try a career. <laughs> we were in the women's club play together. You remember, I played the lead and you were my understudy. <laughs> yeah, well, what have you been doing now? Oh, you've been working in New York. Secretary, I suppose. <laughs> oh, you became an actress. And you're in town to play the lead in some television stuff? That's well. Me? Oh, I, I'm just fine. Yes, Brad's a big judge now, and I don't even lift a finger around the house. Now, I just sit around all day eating bonbons and reading love story magazines. <laughs> well, <laughs> Evelyn, I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me now. I, I have to be fitted for some new evening gowns. I'm late now. Yes, I simply must shake a leg. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's get together real soon, dear. Bye. Imagine she's an actress now. now I was the leading lady. <laughs> Hi, honey, I'm home. Ah! What's the matter? You're standing on the floor. Well, I know I always stand on the floor, sort of a habit. <laughs> yeah, but I just scrubbed it. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Oh, it's been like that all day. First the milkman cracked it up and I had to scrub it all over again. Then the grocery boy. Then that big stupid dog of yours. Well, my dog? I don't know how you can call it mine. You brought it home after we got married. Me? I never saw the dog till you brought it home. Well, I never saw it till you brought it home. It isn't your dog? No. It isn't my dog. How do you like that? For three years, we've been living with a total stranger. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're making the floor look even worse. Oh, what do we got for dinner? What's the use? 
I'm sick and tired of this housework. It, it never ends. Mmm, Hungarian goulash. Oh, is that what I made for dinner tonight? Really, Brad, it, it, it's just been one thing after the other today. Yes, I know, dear. I, I wasn't cut out for this sort of thing. Yeah, of course, dear. Mmm, need salt. Huh? The goulash. Oh, I, I just work my fingers to the bone, cooking, washing, scrubbing, and... It does? What? Need salt? Oh, yeah, well, it does just a little. <laughs> now, look, Joan, you're, you're just being upset. Upset? I'm so tired, I can't move. We're ready to clap. Well, if you feel that way, we won't go to the club dance tonight. Oh, it's tonight? Yeah. Well, I guess I can collapse tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Brad. Huh? Do you love me? That's a foolish question. Well, give me a foolish answer. I love you. Then why are you stifling me? What? My <laughs> talent. <laughs> what talent? Bradley Stevens, do you mean to stand there and tell me that you didn't know that I could have become a great actor? No, I didn't. Of course not. You're so busy with your own career. What do you care about? Me? Oh, but Joan... I'm tired of scrubbing floors. I want to be an actress. Oh, well, so go be an actress. Yeah, but of course you wouldn't let me because you men are always there. What did you say? Go be an actor. Brad, do you really mean it? Well, well of course I do. Oh, you're a darling. I want you to know you'll never regret the decision you made today. And because of it, the Duke's life will be spared. And a new France will rise again. Well, Joan, what are you talking about? That was my big scene in the women's club play. Well, what do you think? In spite of it, go be an actress. <laughs> I'm an actress, and I'd like to know... Hey, Al, we're all ready for the commercial. What time did you tell Alice to be here? Me? I thought you were supposed to call Alice. I thought you were supposed to call her. Oh, that's fine. That's just fine. I'm an actress. I'm here. Well, where are we going to get another girl at a moment's notice? I'm a girl at a moment's notice. <laughs> well, we just can't pick anyone. We've got to find a short girl. I don't agree with you. I think the part calls for a tall girl. <laughs> I think maybe the type we're looking for is a fat one. The problem is, we're going to get anybody right away. I'm here, fellas. A tall, short, fat actress. <laughs> Who are you? I'm an actress. What do you think, Frank? We don't have time to think. Okay, sister, you got yourself a job. I want you to know you'll never regret the decision you've made today. And because of it, the Duke's life will be spared, and a new France will rise again. <laughs> It's okay by me, sister, as long as they keep the old phonies bajet. <laughs> okay, kid, you just stand by. We're going to be shooting your scene in just a minute. Mac, get set with the camera. We're going to be shooting. All right, sister, you ready? I'm ready. I'm yours at your command. Do with me what you will. All right, here's your bucket. Start scrubbing. Bucket? No, you, you must have the wrong kind of an actress. You see, Lady, I do lady, this, look, we're I filming do... the commercials for Magic Mop. Magic Mop? No, I do all kind of Shakespearean stuff like that. Well, the Shakespearean stuff is fine, but right now we want you to pick up the mop and get on the floor with the bucket and start to scrub. It's a nice little part for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, come on, come on, let's get going. Sit, sit, get the brush and start scrubbing. We're ready, let's go. All right, roll them. They're rolling. Action. Ladies, this is the old-fashioned way of scrubbing a floor. Back and forth and back and forth. You don't want this, do you? But this, this is the modern way. The magic mop way. Get yours today. Cut. Honey, you were just wonderful. Just magnificent. You must be fine here. Sit down. Have a little glass of water, huh? Hold it. Sorry, Frank. A little out of focus. Once more, huh? <laughs> Honey, we're going to have to take it over again. You don't mind, do you? Hmm? Of course not. What a trooper. <laughs> All right, places, everybody. Places. All right. Roll them. They're rolling. Action. Ladies, this is the old-fashioned way of scrubbing a floor. Back 
and forth and back and forth. You don't want this, do you? <laughs> but this, this is the modern way, the magic mop way. Get yours today. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry to have to mention this, but you just didn't give it everything that last time. Well, I'm getting tired. I know. Just once more, hmm? I'll try. Such a trooper. All right, places, everybody. Places. All right. Roll them. All right. Action. Ladies, this is the old-fashioned way of scrubbing a floor. Back and forth and back and forth. You don't want this, do you? Uh. But this, this is the modern way. The... Ah! Cut! What are you doing? Well, you're taking all the bowels around here. It's time you did a little work. <laughs> what? Listen, kid, the sooner we get rid of all this bucket of mud, the sooner both of us can get out of here. What's going on here? Yeah, what gives? I've never been so insulted in all my life. Oh, you must have been. <laughs> Where did you ever get this miserable scrub woman? Scrub woman? Why, you... Hey, what's the matter with you, sister? Are you blowing your top or something? I'm sorry, dear. It's just that I wanted to be an actress so bad. I never do it to scrub the floor. I get all this stuff. I'm back and forth. I'm too much to do Just once more. Yeah, one more. All right, places, everybody. Places. Roll them. They're rolling. Action. Cut. From now on, if there's any scrubbing to be done, I'm going to do it at home. There, there it is. And I haven't heard a word about work since. Then the idea really paid off, eh, Jeff? Like a charm. Well, I'll give it a try. We'll do. I'll let you know how I make out. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Honor. Oh, say, uh, by the way, you're coming up for re-election next month, ain't you? Why, yes, yes. Well, I you can it. sure count on my vote. And uh, I'll spread it around amongst the boys, too. Well, thank you, Mr. Magruder. Uh, well, hello, babe. Eh? <laughs> Here's a list of your campaign contributions. Oh, fine, fine, Miss Burton. See, I don't see Mr. Bishop or Mr. Chester's name Oh, and Mr. Chester called. Seems to be quite a booster of yours. Yes, well, that's the problem. So is Mr. Bishop, and I need them both. Well, why can't you use both of them? Well, it's an old story. You see, they were once partners in business, and they both fell in love with the same girl. Chester got her. Well, why does Chester hate Bishop? Did you ever see what he got? Oh. <laughs> well, anyhow, they've hated each other ever since. This calls for strategy. Yeah, well, let's get Chester first and worry about Bishop later. I'll tell you what, call Chester and invite him to the house for dinner tonight. No, no, you better call Mrs. Stevens and tell her we're having a guest for dinner tonight. Uh-huh. Yes, Ethel. I've been doing just wonders on Brad's campaign. Well, uh, for instance, I've got one of the biggest men in town interested in supporting Brad. Mm-hmm. I've invited him to dinner tonight. Just Mr. Bishop, that's all. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll call you later, Ethel. Bye. <gasps> Brad is going to be so pleased with me. Wow. Joan will be back in just a minute. But right now... Still so give our friends some good news? All right. It's this. Right now's a wonderful time to buy a GE 2-in-1 refrigerator food freezer like this one. You see, this time of year, trade-ins are unusually good. So good, the trade-in allowance will probably cover the down payment. And honestly, you don't know what you've been missing until you get this wonderful GE combination. We didn't. We didn't have this separate freezer section with a separate door and a freezing system all its own. Do you know that this holds 70 pounds of frozen foods at zero cold? We didn't have all this storage space in the door. Or conveniences like a butter conditioner, sliding shelves. You know what I just love about our GE? Because of the moist cold refrigeration, you never have to cover dishes. And you don't have to defrost because frost never forms. Not even that much frost from a tiny ice cube. Not at all. As we said in the beginning, it's so easy to own. 
see your GE dealer about his liberal allowance and credit terms. You'll be glad you did. Let me see now. Uh, Mr. Judge will sit here, and I'll sit over there. Bishop there, and I'll put, um, Carrie. Uh, oh, who's the fourth place? Oh, I forgot to tell you, Mr. Stevens, the judge's secretary called before and said that he's bringing a gift, too. Oh, that's nice. Uh, did he say who it was? Yes. Um, let me see. Chester? Lester? Chester? Oh, uh, that's it. Mr. Chester. Mr. Chester? Yes. <laughs> What's wrong? Mary, Mr. Bishop and Mr. Chester hate each other. Well, if they meet here, neither one of them will support my husband's campaign. Well, what am I going to do? Oh, Joni, I'm home. Oh, I wish I was dead. <laughs> oh, good evening, dear. Well, uh, how things go at the office? Oh, I had a miserable day. That's nice. <laughs> Everything go all right here? Well. Feeling okay? Perfect. Say, uh, who's the other guest for dinner? It's the one that's going to be tough to answer. No, no I, I see uh, four places. Who is the uh, other guest? Yeah, it's a dilly, all right. Care for some salt on your celery? Uh, uh, Joni, Joni, I don't like the tone of your silence. Now, uh, who is the other guest? Of course, the fact that I'm having Mr. Chester, who happens to be one of my biggest political supporters, I'd kind of like to know whoever it is will sort of fit in. Now, Joan, who is it? Well, you know that Mrs. Smith who lives down the block? No. Oh, you know her. She lives in that little gray stucco house, that little old lady. Well, she doesn't seem to have any family or anything. She's alone all the time. Oh, yes, 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 we're, we're having her. No, but we should sometime, Brad, really. <laughs> well, I'd be delighted to, but who are we having tonight? You'd be mad. No, I won't. You promise? I promise. It's Mr. Bishop. Well, of course, you know, I, I don't seem the least bit... What? Oh, no, no, no. No, Joni, Joni, you, you, you didn't do it. No, no, I'm sure you didn't do it. No, the way those men hate each other would ruin me politically. And I know that, that even you couldn't do it. No, Joan, because, because you have too much sense. Joan. Joan, did you? Well, I... Joni, Joni, do me a favor and tell me you didn't do it. All right. I didn't do it. But you did. Yeah. <laughs> I was only trying to help. Help? Do you realize this would ruin me politically? <laughs> well, why didn't you tell me you were bringing Mr. Chester? Well, why didn't you tell me that you were having Mr. Bishop? But you didn't ask me. Well, neither did you. <laughs> Carrie, where are you going? I'm going back to the baker's. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, Carrie, the, the dinner party. Well, well, what'll we do? Well, you're the judge. Uh, you may call the decision. I'll go answer the door. I knew he'd come up with something clever. <laughs> Oh, good evening, Mr. Chester. Evening, Judge. Oh, uh, let me take your hat. You uh, know my wife, Mrs. Stevens? Yes, yes. How do you do, Mrs. Stevens? Yes, isn't it? <laughs> well, now that we're here, what do you say we go out and get something to eat? Wow. Well, I thought you invited me for a home-cooked meal. We did, right down the street. Harry's Restaurant, wonderful home-cooked meals. Just a great well, I... No, 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 on second thought, I think we'd better stay here and eat. Yes, Joni's home-cooked meals, you just love them. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Stevens. Evening. <laughs> you look terrible. You better go right home and lie down. Well, but I... And don't worry about all this wonderful food being wasted, because your health comes first. So, go home. <laughs> I feel fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me except that I'm starved. <laughs> Where's Brand? Brand? Yes, your husband. Oh, that Brand. Yes. Yes. Oh, Where well, is he? Sit down, Mr. Bishop. He's outside. He's uh, walking the lawn. <laughs> I mean, watering the dog. I better see about dinner. Of course, I'm very happy to have your support in my campaign, Mr. Chester, and also. It was the newsboy. I was just telling your husband, Mrs. Stevens, that I'm prepared to be very liberal in his behalf this year. And I, uh... By the way, what's this place for? Are you having another guest? 
Oh, well, that's Uncle Charlie's place. <laughs> Uncle Charlie? Yes, uh, he used to live with Brad and me, and, well, when he passed on, we just kept setting a place for him. <laughs> yes, yes, we're very sentimental. Very interesting. <laughs> when did your uncle pass on? Uh, 25 years ago. <laughs> 25? But you and Brad have only been married a few years. Shows you how sentimental we are. <laughs> oh, poor Uncle Charlie. Uh, uh, Joan, dear, don't you think you'd better see about dinner? Dinner, yes, yeah, of dinner. course. <laughs> By the way, Brad. Uh, yes, Mr. Chester? As I said before, I am prepared to make a nice contribution to your campaign, providing you have nothing whatsoever to do with that two-faced Martin Bishop. Well, how can you think a thing like that? Uh, you know how I feel about that man. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> You'll, uh, excuse me just a moment, won't you, Mr. Chester? Yes, you do. <laughs> Mr. Bishop. Oh, hello. So nice of you to come. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I thought as long as I was taking an active hand in your campaign, that the sooner we got together, the better. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I <laughs> see eye to eye on that. <laughs> you know, we uh, we always eat out here in the living room. It's uh, sort of so much cozy. <laughs> uh, just one thing, though, I'd like to have understood. You know how I feel about that. No good George Chester. Oh, I do, I do. I hope he's supposed to. <laughs> I hope you haven't been seeing him. Well, you know, you can't help but run into him at the usual places, movies, department stores, dining rooms, I mean restaurants. And I... <laughs> well, I guess I'd better get dinner ready. Oh, Joni, Joni, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll help you. <laughs> so will I. No, you no, no. just take it easy. Uh, I hope it won't be very long. Oh, no. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, read this. The beginning isn't much, but... Wait till you get to the end. Oh, uh, yes, yes, it's uh, very, very interesting. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mr. Chester. Oh, that's all right. Uh, Joni is such a wonderful cook, I just know that you're going to enjoy your dinner. <laughs> ah, roast beef. <laughs> yes, and Joni makes it so wonderfully, too. Oh, all right, thank uh, you. Uh, by the way, yeah, Brad, uh, about the campaign, my thought is that if we make a few uh, rallies around town in different parts of the city, why, well, we'd really be able to get to the voters. Oh, yes, yes, I'm all in favor of that. That's, uh, that's very good, yeah. The... <laughs> <laughs> ah, roast beef, my favorite dish. Oh, I'm so glad, Bishop. There you are. Uh, potatoes? Oh, just a few. Grab a potato. Should I feel? Peas. Peas? Oh, peas, by all means. Thank you so much. Huh? Now you start right in. Uh, I'll get bread.
One cent to your campaign. That goes for me, too. <laughs> You're too cheap to give any money. Oh, yeah? I'll give more than you will. Is that so? Yes. Well, I'll give 500. All right, I'll give 600. I have six. Do I hear seven? I'll give seven. I have seven. Do I hear eight? Yes, I'll give eight. I have eight. Do I hear nine? Going. I'll give nine. I'll give a thousand. Go oh, to that warm, kind hearted, generous humanitarian Mr. Chester for $1,000. I'll give one thousand two. I have a thousand two. Do I hear a thousand three? Joey, Joey, Joey. Will you give a thousand three? <laughs> no, look, they're both good enough to give a thousand dollars, so just forget about it. Oh, well, you're both such kind-hearted, generous fellows. Why don't you like each other? Why don't we like each other? Why don't you know? He, he... What was it? Why don't I like you? I'll tell you why I don't like you. We were both after murder. I got her. <laughs> Put up more of a fight for Oh, come on. You fellas don't have any real reason to carry on this silly feud. Let's be friends. Come on, we start out to have dinner. Let's have it together. Say, that's a very good <laughs> idea. Oh, oh, <laughs> What's the matter? Uncle Charlie's place. Who's Uncle Charlie? Your uncle had died 25 years ago. Well, I don't think he'd mind this time. Do you, Johnny? You wouldn't. You wouldn't mind, would you, Uncle Charlie? I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Joan will be back in a minute. Meanwhile, darling, you're on. We've borrowed dishes from all over the neighborhood to show you this. These are the dishes a family of four washes in one week. Shows you why we're so happy we have our new GE dishwasher. The dishwasher that pre-rinses. Now all we do is this. Brush off loose food waste. There's no hand rinsing needed. And pop it in with the glassware, pots, pans, and silver. That's all. The GE pre-rinses, washes, rinses. Fan dries your dishes in heated air and shuts itself off. No washing for me, no drying for Bill. Another reason we're glad we own this GE is health. Yes, now that colds are so common, it's nice not to have to wash dishes by hand and run the risk of spreading germs. The dishes washed in a GE are washed in water much hotter than your hands can stand. They come out so clean. No breeding place for germs. You should have one and you can. At today's credit terms, you only have to pay about $3.82 a week. See your GE dealer tomorrow. Hi. Thanks, folks, for letting us visit you in your homes tonight. And just between us, gee, GE appliances are wonderful. See your GE dealer. He's pretty wonderful, too. Good night. Seen in tonight's cast were Sheldon Leonard, Sandra Gould, Margie List, Bob Sweeney, Shep Menken, Jane Easton, Earl Ross, and Howard Freeman. I Married Joan, starring Joan Davis, is brought to you each week by General Electric. Makers of the most preferred appliances for the home. Remember, you can put your confidence in General Electric. Blue, blue, blue.